guys, it's Dinkledork, and today I wanted to go over how to create custom currencies for various vendors. I've been working on creating Tier 1 and Tier 2 sets for Enhancement Shaman, Warrior, and Paladins, and I went ahead and added them to a vendor and I wanted to make it so that you could exchange current Tier 1 sets and Tier 2 sets for the new sets. So rather than dropping off the boss, you just come here with the appropriate piece of gear. As you can see, you can use the original Tier 1 to buy the new Tier 1 sets and you can use the original tier two to buy the new tier two sets as well. The tools you'll be needing for this project today is WDBX Editor, Latix MPQ Editor, and Heidi SQL. The DBC that we'll primarily be working with is itemextendedcost.dbc, and we'll also be working with Creature Template as well as PC Vendor. First thing first, you're gonna to wanna to create your own creature. Make sure its faction is set to 35 if you want it to be neutral, or set it to an appropriate faction for Horde or Alliance. You do this in the creature template table in your database. I find that just having a faction of 35, which is neutral, works out the best. Then you're going to want to make sure that you add any NPC flags that are required for vendors. So in this case, we just need 128. If you want to be more specific, you can. It also depends on your core which flags are required. But make sure that you check out your core's Wikipedia page for creature template to make sure that you have the appropriate flags. Also, you want to make sure that they have the buy icon. You just put that here in the icon name or repair if you want to have them also be able to repair. So I've got my vendor NPC, which is this guy right here. And now all I'm really going to do is just add the new tier set. So depending on your core, if it's Azeroth core, you just do dot NPC add item and you link the item or you put the item entry. So once you have that done, your items will actually show up on the vendor now. But of course, they're only being sold for gold. So what do you do next? Now we're just going to go ahead and open up WDBX Editor. We're going to go to our server's DBC file, which contains all these DBCs. We're going to open up itemextendedcost.dbc and just scroll all the way to the bottom. So you can use anything for this, any sort of item. Uh, you can use your own custom currency. You could use actual items if you wanted to, like I have, or I'm about to show you how to do. But yes, this is how it is done. So first thing first, we're going to need the item IDs for the items that we want to use as currency. So I'm going to go ahead and look those up real quick. So for tier two, for Shaman, it's the 10 Storms set. So look up item of 10 Storms. And some of these items exist in Wrath of the Lich King because they were brought back later on. But yeah, all I'm gonna do at this point is I'm just gonna put in a new item ID for each one that I want. So for leg plates of 10 Storms, it's 16946. I'm going to put the required item count. In this case, it's just going to be one. If you want, you can put as many as you want. And then that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Go ahead and continue doing this. You just create a new row, right? 3052. And I'm just going to go ahead and put in the helmet, which is 16947. The item count, one, which is to one. And we're going to go ahead and test this out. So hit save here to go to the NPC vendor. And this entry here is the creature's number, the item number, and the extended cost, which is the ID on the left-hand side from this table over here. So if you're using the same currency, but you have different numbers of currency, this is where this would come into play. So far, we have the helmet and we have the shoulders. So let's look up the entries for the helmet and shoulders for this particular creature. This particular creature's ID is 400254. So it's this guy right here, actually. And our helmet on this vendor is 816947. So we're just going to look for that. It's this guy right here. The extended cost. I don't know why that got rid of the one, but that's okay. We'll put it back in. The extended cost for this one is going to be 3051, which is this ID right here. That's what we'll put in extended cost. Now we're going to go ahead and do the shoulders, which is 816945. 
And the extended cost for that one is 3052. After you're all done with every piece of gear, you just could go ahead and shut down your server. Open up Latix MPQ editor. Open up the patch with your DB files client. Go to your server DBCs and look for item extended cost dot DBC that you just filled out and saved. Drag and drop to your DB files client folder. Go ahead and start up your server again. Start up your client into the game and we're just going to go ahead and check our results. Go ahead and give it a test. Tier 2. And it works perfectly now. There's a lot you can do with this system. Like I said earlier, you can even create your own currency and set up vendors to sell various things that you maybe normally couldn't get or certain vanity items. Yeah, with that in mind, that's how you use the item extended cost DVC. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you guys on the other side of Azeroth.